Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Yesterday on the 7th of September, Microsoft announced that it is acquiring ClipChamp. Now, if you don't know what ClipChamp is, basically ClipChamp is a free web-based video editing app that you can run through the convenience of your browser and you don't need to download and install any software onto your system. And according to their website, they currently have over 17 million video creators at the moment. Now, Microsoft says that they could be integrating the ClipChamp into the Microsoft 365 subscription service. And Microsoft says, as a web app that uses the full power of your PC, ClipChamp is a natural fit to extend the cloud-powered productivity experiences in Microsoft 365 for individuals, families, schools, and businesses. And they also say it's a great fit for Microsoft Windows, which is a platform for boundless creativity. Now, currently ClipChamp is a free service and you can also sign up you know, and pay for a service where you get extra features and add-ons to the video editor. Now, I just used one of my Google accounts and I tried it out for free and it was actually a very simple process to sign up uh, uh, to the ClipChamp video editor. And once I'd gone through all these steps, this is the final result, the outcome, um, which is the video editor. And I found as a free web-based video editor, it actually has a couple of nice features uh, that you can try out um, online. And you don't even have to download and install anything onto your PC. And then obviously you can upgrade, as I mentioned, to get extra features and add-ons. Now, this is the announcement Microsoft made yesterday. And I will leave a link down below to all of these uh, web pages that you can go check that out for yourself a little bit more in depth. Now, at this stage, Microsoft hasn't given us the full story and all of its plans regarding the future of ClipChamp and what in exactly what direction it wants to go. And also, we don't know at this stage if it will finally replace the video editor currently found in the Windows operating system. But obviously, Microsoft 365 is a paid subscription service, so the chances of the video editor uh, becoming a paid subscription service with Microsoft are obviously very high at this stage. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.